why do we always have to be the reason why y'all like white girls? Just say you like white girls because you already like white girls. You're just using us as a scapegoat so people don't make you feel bad for liking white girls. They need God. <laughs> they need rappers like me. They need rappers like me so they can get on their fucking keyboards and make me the bad guy, Chun Li. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to another absolutely spirited video. My name is Layla, not Layla, not Lila, not Lola, not Delila, and it's most certainly not Leonard. I'm back with another goddess talk and today's goddess talk is a little lighthearted and I'm just going to be going through the double standards that I see and that really irk my soul. So before we jump into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss when I upload. So I'm going to just start with the most cliche double standard of them all, which is cheating. Cheating is not seen as a bad thing when men do it. And when women do it, it's the end of the world. Why is that? Why is it when men cheat, we're supposed to take it 57 times and apologies and oh, we're going to work through this. But the moment a woman does it, I'm off you, bro. How could you do me like that? Like, I thought you loved me and I just don't understand. Like, that's the worst thing you could have done. It's like, baby, what? After you just cheated on me 57 times? Like what? Please. I know some explanations stem from women do it because they're emotional and men do it because they're just horny, but both justifications are dumb, but it's just the fact of like, why does when women do it, it holds more weight. And when men do it, we're just supposed to roll over and be like, it's cool as long as it's not my home girl. Ah, ah. No, no, it's not cool at all. So the next double standard has actually been a popular topic these past few weeks of when I'm making this video. And that is women with high body counts are stigmatized while men with high ones are praised. And I understand the argument. Do I think that they're valid? Not necessarily. I don't believe people should just be out here talking about, yeah, I didn't been with 50 girls, I didn't been with 50 dudes. Personally, I don't wanna know what you've been doing. I just wanna see your test results from the hospital to make sure you ain't passing the plate with me. That's what I care about. I mean, granted, to each his own, but women with high body counts, men with high body counts, I just think all of that should just be personal. Like, unless you desperately feel like you need to share it or unless somebody's that curious and they wanna know, what are we arguing about? What are we arguing about? You won't know unless I tell you. And to be quite honest, you'll never know the truth unless you cast somebody in a lie. So what do we really want to know body counts for? And why is it so bad when women have high ones, but men, it's kind of like, they're just men. Like, please, we're on, let's get out of biblical times, okay? Next one is, why are assertive women considered too bossy, AKA having standards? It's like when a woman tells you, I want a man that can do A, B, C, D, all the way to Z, y'all are like, ooh, no, she's doing too much. But then you want an airhead that has nothing going for them, has no standards, and y'all are the happiest. So why is it when a woman knows what she wants, has standards, and has goals when finding a mate that y'all want to call her bossy or, you know, she's too much, she's doing the most, or I want a dummy, like what? Like I remember this dude I used to be friends with said he didn't like smart girls. Oh, so you don't like somebody that's gonna hold you accountable. You want a dummy. You're a dummy, bitch. You will never know shit. Don't nobody want you. Don't nobody need you. So why is it that dad bods are accepted, but women are expected to snap back immediately? I feel like we don't give women who have children the time to enjoy their motherly, womanly bodies. Do you know what I just had to do? Do you know what this body has been through these past nine months? And you expect me to snap back just because that's what you expect? If you don't leave me alone so I can raise my kid and learn how to breastfeed in peace? Dad bods versus mom bods. No, I'm sorry. And what do you have a dad bod for? You are able to go to, go to the gym every day. And I'm sitting because my ankles hurt. I'm gonna give me a year, okay? Give me a year. Because I want to be with my child. Next one is men are praised for taking care of their kids 
while women are just expected to be the caregivers. Now, I know we all know the saying, it takes two to tango, but for some reason, women always get the short end of the stick. Now, I'm not saying that women should have the opportunity to be deadbeat mothers because we don't need anybody, no parents being deadbeats, but men, what do y'all need an award for? A cookie, a gold star, what do y'all need it for? Because I'm sorry, I didn't think she made that baby by herself. So what do you need an applause for? Take care of your responsibilities. Oh my God, congratulations that uh, Tyga and Rob Kardashian are taking care of their children with Black China. Congrats. Now this is everybody's favorite um, double standard, which is women get heat for being vulgar in their music while men, you know, don't get it as much or people barely talk about it or it's just the norm. Now, I kind of understand that women are supposed to be seen as mysterious and sexy and classy and all of that. But to be quite honest, there are some of us out there that like the raunchy, that like the the little Kims and the Megan Thee Stallions and the, you know, the Cardi B's and stuff like that. You can't expect every woman to want to be a nun wearing her skirt down to her ankles. That's just not the reality of everybody. And that's not the prerogative of some people. Some people want to be Whitney Houston. And other people want to be Anita Howard. I mean, you can have it both ways, but I just feel like men talk about a whole bunch of... Have you heard of the Yin Yang Twins? Okay. So I don't really feel like the women who are just talking about poom poom and all of that are doing that much damage like the men are. I'm not even saying that it's right. They're upset about the wrong things. And last time I checked, if you don't like a certain type of music, you just don't listen to it. Do what everybody does to country and turn it off. Now, this one is a trigger warning about sexual assault, but why is it that when women sexually assault men, it's seen as amusing? Me personally, I don't think it's cute to run up to a man and grab his um, junk. I kind of see this a lot with gay men who hang around females like they'll get like you know I'm pretty sure a lot of it's not always sexual assault but women feel because you're gay I can touch on you I can do all that I couldn't do to a normal dude or whatever because I wouldn't want to send him the wrong message so it's like if you're gay and I grab your junk it's not going to be seen as I'm attracted to you but in all of that why is it okay for women to sexually harass men or assault them and it's not taken as seriously as if a man were to do it to a woman please i want to know because they're both uncomfortable so why is it because he's a man he's supposed to laugh it off like yeah somebody just grabbed my dick like that's not it this next one stems from kids again and this is the single mothers versus the single fathers we put so much pressure and so much criticism and so much negativity on single moms and then we treat single dads like they're angels from above like they're God sent and it's like yes it's a rarity to see single fathers but it shouldn't be so praised to the point where we bash the people who do it every day we bash the group that is always going to take care of theirs which is the single mothers now whether that's a single mother by choice because your significant other died because they decided they didn't want to be a parent whatever your story is it doesn't matter whether you're the single mother or the single father as long as you're handling your responsibilities who cares as long as your kids are taken care of who cares but at the same time, y'all need to put some respect on the single mothers and stop treating single dads like they just get a, um, a, a Golden Globe, an Oscar, a Tony. And the last one I have for y'all is interracial dating. Now, when black women date white men, marry whatever, they never choose to disrespect black men. But when black men date white women, black women are the reason. And I say that to say, Oh, black women are not submissive. Black women have too much of an attitude. Black women this, black women that. Why do we always have to be the reason why y'all like white girls? Just say you like white girls because you already like white girls. You're just using us as a scapegoat so people don't make you feel bad for liking white girls. If you want to date a white girl, date a white girl. If you want to date a white dude, date a white dude. But there should be no reason why your skin folk, the people who look like you, are to be the brunt of some stupid joke or some stupid reason. Date what you like. You like them white. You like mayonnaise. So like mayonnaise. It's cool. Like just don't bring 
my chocolate self of why you like mayonnaise, why you like regular milk when you can have chocolate milk. But that's your prerogative. Just leave me out of it. But those are all of these stereotypes that I have. Um, if you guys do like this video, I will make a part two. Um, but those are just some double standards that really irk my soul, warm my butter, tickle my booty. They just piss me off because people can choose to be dense and it, that just really just just I can't we can't have these discussions when people choose to be stupid Google is free and so is reading and I feel like people don't take the time out of their days to do that and that's why we have these dumbass debates about stuff that is really self-explanatory and common sense but then again common sense ain't that common but I just want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next goddess talk bye